The Lemelson Foundation believes in the power of invention to transform lives in low-income populations and address the biggest challenges that we're all facing as a global community, and to do that at scale. Use innovation, the power of innovation, combined with entrepreneurship, for-profit entrepreneurship, to impact lives of people who are poor. There's a gap for products that are meeting the needs of these low-income populations in developing countries. There is actually a business opportunity there. Invention-based companies actually do tend to be high-growth businesses, and so they create jobs. We really do take a systems view. If we're going to achieve those outcomes, we need to create the ecosystems by which ideas, inventions, can be taken forward into products and businesses. Local inventors, entrepreneurs, investors, mentors. We believe that there needs to be a localized network of the people that make up this system. If we're going to address the sustainable development goals and some of the biggest problems that we're facing as a global community today, we don't believe that software alone can do that. In the resource-constrained environments that we're working, physical capital is a major gap for anybody working on a physical product. So one of the partners that Lemelson Foundation has supported is the Gearbox Foundation in Nairobi. What, what Gearbox is, is a factory of factories. One of the biggest gaps, the one that we decided to focus on, was the inability to make a prototype that actually looks like and works like what the final product should be. Having a space like Gearbox, it brings a platform where you can build something, then you can take it to a pilot and do tests before you run to the mass production. Many people who use our space, they're not engineers. And all these people, they have just seen a problem somewhere and they have the solution in mind. Farmers understand the need for supplying um, their chicks with supplemental heat, but they lack a way of monitoring, automatically controlling the heat or the environmental conditions. Our product is called the Smart Brooder. Um, it's an environmental controller which automatically regulates a heat source, and whenever it's unable to do this, it sends an alert to the farmer's phone, alerting him he should take corrective measures. Gearbox has been um, a really great working space for me. We're able to prototype come up with uh, models that could be tested in the field. And without Gearbox, we would maybe still be at the idea stage. Invention-based enterprises face a lot of access to capital gaps. From early stage, their development is really expensive. But it's in that initial stage when you know, you're know you the only person who believes in it. You need an organization that believes in you and will grow is focused on that. Vilgro provides a bit of seed funding to help those businesses get off the ground. To attract mainstream capital, it becomes important to build for-profit scalable enterprises. And we do that by supporting those innovators, mentoring them and connecting them up with resources that can make them more successful. Invention-based enterprise does work and does impact lives. It can make a difference to, to the lives of people who are underprivileged. I think it's a myth that you can't do social good and make money at the same time. I really believe that you can inspire and coach people to become successful innovators. We're seeing evidence that in fact incubation and, and nurturing them and supporting them does truly build good quality enterprises all over the world.